Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Um, thank you so much first and foremost for joining me here. Um, in this video, um, I wasn't even planning to do this video to start off with, um, but I went shopping after work and there's so many cool things that I saw in this shop that I decided that I was probably going to buy a few items and do... Um, I was just really going to buy a few items and, and have them at home. Maybe, you know, give away the kit to like my nieces and nephews, things like that. But there was so many cool, adorable things in the shop that I just bought quite a few. And I thought, you know what? I'll just do a haul video for YouTube. So every single item that you see... Um, and there are some behind. Every single item that you see was from my local pound shop, which I think is fantastic. And as you guys know, not everything in the pound shops are not only a pound. Um, you do get things that are a bit more expensive, um, but that's okay because they have, you know, they have lots of funky stuff. Um, so I'm going to go through all the items that I bought today. Um, just to show you the range of things that you can get in the pound shop. And if you like any of it, please go ahead and and buy it. Um, I'll let you know whether I think they're good or bad. Um, whether it was money, what I think it was money well spent. And if you like this video and you'd like to see more of these kind of um, haul videos, put it in the comment section below because it's really good for me to gauge kind of you know the public opinion do you like these videos do you not like these videos you know change it up and do something different but I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to show you everything that I got um before I do that really quickly I just want to say that I spent in my local pound shop today 19 pound and 5p and the 5p was for the bag normally I bring my own bags but today um, I filled the bag that I brought with me and I needed to buy another one. But I will reuse that plastic bag because I don't like throwing those in the trash. So £19.5p for all of these items. So the first thing I'm going to start with is this. And I hope you can, um, you probably can't see it all, but I will bring it out so that you can see. This is a pack of Aquashot water bombs. You get 20 balloons, so 20 colourful water balloons in this pack, um, which you can throw and explode. They're made by HTI. HTI seem to do quite a lot of the products that are toy-wise in the pound shop. I know I've bought a lot of other toy-type items, and they've all been HTI. Um, this also comes with, an, uh, with a nozzle, so that means you're not running inside and filling them using your tap. You do have... If I can put it here, you do have the nozzle, which can, oh, sorry, guys, you do have the nozzle, which can attach to your outside um, tap. If you have one, I do, which makes it easy. Um, but I just think the kids will love these. I think it's a lot of fun to um, let them go out and play with these. Um, so, guys, also just note that on this package, it does say for 8 plus. If you're doing it, um, if anyone is using these with anybody younger, please supervise them um, just to make sure that they stay safe. We don't, we don't want anybody to be hurt. So this is my first item, 200 balloons, which I thought was excellent because they also had one with a nozzle that only had 50. And I kind of thought, well, they're a pine, so why wouldn't I just get the 200? So that's what I did. So this is my first item. I was really, really happy with this and the kids will have so much fun. I'm going to pop that to the side. My next item is I have reviewed this Squeezums. I've reviewed these Squeezums before on my channel. Um, and on a smaller scale, so it's it's substantially smaller. I mean, probably around this size. Um, and I just, I saw this super large, squishy keychain, um, which is banana scented. Um for a pound and I thought that is adorable and you know I can give this to one of the kids and I think they'll love it um, it also has a keychain so you can attach it to a backpack or a bag um, or hang it up somewhere um, so that makes that quite handy and this is super squishy 
if I squeeze it and then you'll see super squishy so this was a pound honestly couldn't walk by it so I put it in my trolley put it in my cart and um, it was um, definitely one of the items I was going to purchase so this is my second item super fun super squishy and only a pound so we're going to set that to the side so guys another thing I bought today are these Haribo strawberry softies these are a pound for a bag of 160 grams these have become my ultimate favorite sweet so anytime that I pass the pound shop I'm always in buying these for a pound for 160 grams that's pretty sweet so these have on the outside they have um, a strawberry flavored sugar coating which I love and inside there's strawberry flavored fluffy marshmallow absolutely delicious if you haven't tasted these before go ahead and buy them even just to try them my favorite so 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 cool so that's our item number three which we're going to put just to the side a little off camera um this is my next item i thought this was super sweet i bought this for my sister because my sister is always losing her keys um and she <laughs> she can never find them so i thought this would be super cute for her um, it says I love you. It's a pink car with the keychain and it says your key finder just whistle And then guys I cannot whistle But I will show you that it works and I will show you how cute it is. So there was a little um, Battery separator here isolator. I did pop that out because I wanted to show you guys what it, um, it working so this is how it works So then it goes off. Oh, <laughs> we'll just wait till this finishes. Um, so this um, will really help my sister find her keys when she loses them. Um, it's funny how often that happens. But I thought this was super cute. Um, so I bought this for her. Again, this was only a pound. Um, and I thought that was a great bargain because I've seen these on places like Amazon and eBay for much, much more expensive than that, up to, I think, £5. So for a pound, I thought this was an awesome find. So this is, um, this is that was my next item. We're just going to set that off camera. Um, guys, I want to show you these um, just because they're quite bulky. So these, I'll show you one first. I can't get fit it all in screen. Yes, I can. There we go. Um, these are make your own key ring friends or keychains. Um, <coughs> I'm so sorry. Um, you can make three key rings. Um, and yes, there are three key rings to make and you have six wiggly eyes included, which means two, four, six. And I thought this was cute. Um, these are more for my nephews and nieces when they come to the house. I do like to do activities with them. I don't like them to be just sitting watching TV or to be playing on iPads or phones or whatever. So I always pick up these little things so that we can do an activity together. Um, I think that's so much fun and, and it's, it's quality time. So I bought, there were only two different types. So I bought two of the keyring friends. Um, pop these down here actually we'll just pop these back here and I bought one box of craft um, so in this you've got eight pom-poms and you've got your pipe cleaners and you can create your own craft characters I think these are super cute um, this pack contains I will go through what's in this pack sorry I didn't even know that was on the back um, guys it is for five plus so anybody younger than that please supervise um, the pack contains eight mixed pom-poms, four pipe cleaners, one card, sh one card sheet, four tissue paper sheets, four googly eyes, four lolly sticks, two foam sheets, double-sided tape sheet that's 10 by 10 centimeters, and the instructions. So that's really, really good. Um, inside the key rings, the key ring friends, 
we've got three foam heads, foam features, self-adhesive sheets, three metal key rings, six self-adhesive wiggly eyes, and your instructions. And guys, these were a pound each, but in my local pound shop, they had these on offer. They were three for two. So I got all three of these for two pound, which I think is an awesome bargain. Um, and I know that my nieces and nephews will have so much fun doing these. So that's awesome. I was so, so happy with those. We'll just set those here to the side. The next item that I got was this jumping spinner. Sorry guys, I'm, I'm back off screen again. It's for three plus. Um, it's made by Toy Mania. Um, it's a jumping spinner. It doesn't really give me any detail on the side, but it comes in different patterns. So you've got this white and blue, this orange and um, cream. And you have, actually you have more colors because I got this one. Or maybe this is this one and the color's just not great. You've got this blue and purple one and you've also got this um, red and black one. But this was the one that I thought was the nicest. So I went, away, I went ahead and bought that. This is a jumping spinner. I've never seen a jumping sp um, fidget spinner before. But we'll open it and see if we can... Oh, why is it called the jump? Oh, wow. Anyway, sorry, I got a little um, sidetracked. So guys, this is what it looks like when it's outside of the package. You have these rubber um, springs, grips here. You have your fidget spinner in the middle. It's not a bad spin. It's not the fastest fid fidget spinner I've ever seen, but it's it's still cool. It cost a pound. Um, but let's go ahead and see what they mean when they say jump in. I think I know, but we'll just try it out. So I'm going to just tilt the camera down ever so slightly so you guys can actually see what's going on. I think you spin the spinner and you push it down. Oh dear, that didn't work. Let's try that again. Um, so we put it here and we... Oh my gosh, that doesn't even work. Or is that how it's supposed to work? I'm not. <laughs> I'm not really not doing really well with this jumping spinner. I don't actually know. You can definitely feel there are springs here, so there are springs. There is a bit of suspension there, um, but we just can't get it to jump. No. Oh, that was a bit of a bust. I still think it's a pretty cool fidget spinner, and if I figure out how the springs work and how that's supposed to work. And then I will update you in the comments below. But I still think it's it's cute. Um, it's different than any other fidget spinner I've seen. So that's awesome. I'm go, going to go ahead and pop it back into its box. So that is the spinner. We're just going to set that off screen. This <laughs> was super cute. I um, I definitely had to buy this. I am going to Canada in the summer um, to see my sister, so I thought this would be pretty cool. And even if I don't use this, I will give it to my niece who lives over there, and I know she's so going to love this. But I just had to buy it. This is an ice lolly fan, and I have opened it already but I because I wanted to put some batteries in it so that you guys could see it working. Um, I love the fact that it looks like it's dripping um, on the front and the back it has the ha um, lollipop stick type handle it is made of plastic but it's quite sturdy it's not it's not flimsy at all um so for a pound this is really good quality um then what you do is you pop the top cover off and this is your fan which i think is super cute you turn it on and off by the side but listen to the speed of that. And that is, I mean, that's given me, let me try and show you how strong this is. Like, it's given me a lot of, a lot of air. It's, it, um, the little fans generating quite a bit of air. I think this is super cute. It is a tiny bit noisy, but most of these fans are like that. To turn it off at the side, we just switch it down. And then when you want to put it away and store it, we simply pop on the lid again. And it's good to go in your handbag. 
I just think this is so cool. I've never seen anything like this before. Um, it did come in another color. I think the other color was blue with the um, yellow bottom, but I really like this one. It looks more like a lollipop, and I know people will probably stop and ask where I got it. So it's cute. It's also made by Summer Living. And I think Summer Living is definitely a pound shop brand. Um, I'm almost sure it's a pound shop brand. I see a lot of products made by Summer Living in um, the pound shop. Sorry, guys. I was just trying to make it a mess. Set it to the side. Um, I see a lot of Summer Living products in there. So I'm assuming that they that is their brand. If you know, leave it in the comments below. I'd really be interested to find out. So that is that product. The next thing... And I'm not going to open these in this video, guys, because I am going to probably do a video about these um, poopies. That's what they're called because they do have other types. Um, and I will buy some more of those and we'll do an opening of these. But I saw them today and I couldn't not buy them. This pack cost one pound. Um, just to give you a little bit of information, um, the the um, the the product, if I could speak, the product is called Poopies and it says, let's get this potty started. So that's funny. Um, these are series one. I don't know if this is a new thing or these are have been out for quite a while. But the ones that I saw in my local pound shop are a pound and they're all series one. So we may do an opening of all series one. So in this pack, you get six Poopies. So you've got one, two, three, four, five, and six. And then you get two extra characters inside. That's pretty awesome. And it, you get this almost like, this is a container that you can put your poopies in to store them. Um, and you also get two inside. So that is pretty awesome. I really, really like this toilet roll one. I think it's super cute. Um, on the back, you have all of the characters you can collect in Series 1. There are 36 of them. So, <clears throat> excuse me. When we go um, and do our opening on this, hopefully we get a few more. But you can see that it tells you, if I can get that to turn, it gives you the name of the character and it also tells you a little bit about them. So the toilet roll one is called TP, um, a helpful friend. And I think that's cute. Um, this little poop emoji is right here and it's called Pooji the trickster cool um i really really also like this and i'm assuming that this is a plunger and it is it's called plunger and it's emergency assistant so they all have names and a little bit about them on the back so when i do this opening check out that video um it should be super fun that's our next item. Guys, I, I honestly cannot believe I got all of this, all of these items for £19 and 5p. Well, £19 if you take the 5p away for the bag because the bag isn't really one of my items. So that, <laughs> if you take that away, I still think this haul is pretty awesome. Um, I am was so excited when I got it today, um, and I honestly bought it today and thought I really I have to do a video right now. Um, sorry guys, I hit the camera. Um, my next items I think are adorable. Um, these are those little I don't even know what these are called. They're wooden wire puzzles. That's perfect. They're for ages eighteen months plus. Um, I just think they're super cute. They don't take up a whole lot of room. I love wooden toys. Um, I never really had wooden toys when we were younger. Um, so these for me are just, they're, they're super cute. And they just remind me of good quality. Um, if we can open one, I will show you what it's like on the inside. Oh, I always struggle to get these boxes open. Let me see if this one's easier. Oh, of course it's not. Oh, dear. Um, I don't want to rip the boxes on these because I am actually going to give these away. Um, we don't have anyone in my family who's really, really, really young. Um, I think my oldest nephew's two. 
and he doesn't really play with these kind of things he's more into cars so i did buy these to give away um to some friends and um, so i hope they like them because they have really small children um this is what you get now these items um these little wire puzzles are two pound each which i think is really really good i remember buying one of these for one of my nephews when he was really really young and it cost me something like 25 pound um it was much bigger than this um but for two pound, I just think this is so cute. And look at that cute little birdie. I mean, that is really well crafted. It's completely soft. There's no rough edges. Super, super cute. And the elephant. I mean, that is adorable. Um, so these are, you simply turn it around and it moves back and forward. I think these are amazing quality for what you pay. I mean, I'll give you the 360 so you can see, but this is completely flat. There are no rough edges. That's awesome quality. That is super cool. So you, there are four of these um, different types. I bought two of them. I do intend to go back and buy the others, but I will let you know which ones I bought. So we'll pop this one out of the way. Actually, I'll show you that one. Um, so there's the elephant one that I showed you and um, took out of the box and showed you so that that one's super cute. You have this almost, I'm not really sure what this is. I don't know if it's a doggy or a llama. It's probably more a doggy. Um, it's exactly the same. You get the birdie and um, the wire is just different in this one We have a yellow wire in this one. We have a green wire and also the little character is different um, <coughs> Excuse me guys um, you also have this giraffe one that I should have picked up today But I didn't but I will be going back to pick that one up and this uh, super cute wheel um, so there are four to collect or there are four different types I've got these two. I'm going to go back and I'm going to buy these two. So guys, these were £2 each. I don't know if I mentioned that already. I think these are awesome quality for £2 and they'll make a cutesy little gift for anybody, um, any young child. Absolutely. I was so happy when I saw those today. Um, and I kind of wish I had have bought all four. I kind of do, but I didn't. So there we go. Um, but I will. I will rectify that. I will go back and I will get the other two. <laughs> and the next thing I bought was this fold-away rucksack. It's really, really lightweight. It's probably not going to be excellent quality. It cost a pound. But I find when I go to Canada, I always bring my handbag. And I have a really, actually have it here. I have a big bag. I mean, it's huge. Um, and I always seem to fill it full of stuff. I mean, I empty it sometimes, but I always seem to refill it. And I don't know why I do that. But I was thinking for days out, you know, when you don't want to carry a huge bag like that. And because it's real leather, it's really heavy. Um, so I bought this rucksack because it's lightweight. You can fold it away. You can put it in your pocket if you're not using it. Um, or you can pull it out of your pocket when you do need to use it. And it's just a more simple way for me to put my purse or some money or a bottle of water and just carry it on both shoulders, which is much, much more comfortable for me than carrying a large bag on one shoulder, possibly for a whole day. Um, so I have not opened this. I'm excited. Oh, my gosh. This is how small it is. That is super cute. This is made from, I don't actually know what the material is. Um, it's 100% it it's polyester. That's totally fine with me. Um, it is really, really lightweight and I wouldn't trust putting in, why is the zip on the inside? I don't, guys, the the zip part is on the inside. I don't know if that is part of the design, but I mean, I have to literally pull it here to get it open. 
which I think is a bit silly. Um, but, oh my gosh. So, let me see. Super lightweight. Um, I mean, the straps are really, really lightweight as well. But, I mean, it's a pound, so I'm not going to complain. Um, I don't think I could put much in this, much other than maybe my purse and some, you know, with my money. Um, and maybe a bottle of water and maybe a few other things you know when you're going on day trips and whatever um i but i couldn't literally wouldn't be able to put like a lot of shopping in this bag um it is super flimsy um but i mean this is how flimsy it is you can definitely see through it you can see those products behind but i don't again really mind that because let's see how easy it is to get it back in the bag um, it does have the side pocket for your bottle of water. I mean, I don't mind that this is flimsy. I really, really don't because it's really only for use when I'm... Oh, gosh. Oh, yes. It's only for really for use when I'm in Canada. Um, and it will only be to carry maybe some water. Again, my purse, whatever. So I'm, I'm not really bothered about this. And if it breaks, well, then it breaks. It didn't really cost a lot of money. So I'm fine with that. Um, guys, the other thing is... The zip is on this side because when this is a bag, this can act. This is actually another pouch, so you could maybe put your cash in there, maybe some change, loose change, something like that. And when you want to pack it away, it's simply turn it inside out, squish everything in. Um, I mean, there's more than enough room to squish everything inside this little, um, this little pouch. <laughs> and because the zip is on the inside it's not super easy but it's also not extremely difficult either and then there we go we're back to having the single pouch um that's awesome definitely going to use that that is so going into my suitcase awesome find um guys two more items i know this is quite a long video but i'm just really excited to show you all this stuff. So I'll probably not take too long to show you these and then we'll wrap it all up. Um, the next item I bought um, is for a friend in Canada. It's for her daughter. And I thought this was super cute. This is a pound. Um, this is a make your own bracelet designer. Um, it's for three years plus. It has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 12 charms which are just you push them in no you don't sorry you clip them over i'm completely wrong so you have your 12 charms anything of um any charms that you want you just clip them over the band and the band has these three holes so you bend it here and it it attaches but you also get a bonus prize because you also get a ring in this version, it's a heart ring, but in the one that I've got, it's a st got, sorry, it's a star and it's got rainbow dash on it. Super cute. Love rainbow dash. Probably my favorite. Um, and it is adjustable. Um, and it's, I think it's nicer because it's smaller. Um, I don't like the fact that this ring is so big, but you can see at the back that it is adjustable. So that is super awesome. Um, and I just thought this was really, really cute. This was a pound. I thought that was amazing um, because when you buy My Little Pony stuff, we all know that it's really expensive. In the pound shop, they have a few a few um, My Little Pony range, so there are other items that you can get. I think this is awesome. My friend's daughter in Canada will love, love, love this. So that is a super duper find as well. We're going to set that to the side. Guys, my last item, I'm just making room to pull it through. My last item is was so random. I mean, I can't even tell you how random this item was. Um, but I had to buy it. I was almost compelled to buy it. I literally couldn't leave the shop. I, I picked it up. Then I put it down. Then I picked it up again. And then I went back and I, and I put it down. And then I went back and I thought, you know what? I've done this like twice. I'm just going to buy it. Put it in my bag. Let's go. Um, this is a 12 days of beauty advent calendar and i couldn't not buy it even though we're only in june i mean this is june 2019 i've got a long way to christmas but it was two pound and i thought i could maybe do a video 
coming closer to Christmas, I do do advent calendar openings. So this will probably be unopened on for another six months. Um, but I thought it was cute. It was two pound. Keep saying that, but it was two pound, and I had to put it into my trolley or my cart, and I had to buy it. In the back, this is what you get. You get twelve items in this. This is super awesome. So you get um two eyeshadow palettes. You get a blusher, a lip liner, a highlighter, a lip gloss. This lip gloss, which looks super pretty, and I love these colors of lipstick. Um, I don't know if I'll use them, but I will definitely try them out. Um, you get da 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 da. You get two lipsticks, a pencil sharpener, an eyeshadow sponge. This one here. I am not really sure what these are, but check this video out when I do it um, closer to Christmas. Do check this out, and we'll both find out what this is together. We'll both. Or we'll all we'll all find this thing together um you get um a cosmetic palette cosmetic palette maybe that's what this is one second guys i think it actually says on that yep this is the cosmetic palette i don't know what that is so when we open it that will be fantastic and you get a nail file which is super cute and it's rainbow um colored awesome um so I know this is completely random. I know we're only in June. Please don't judge. Um, but I had to buy it because it was so super cheap. Um, guys, I think this this haul was awesome. I I'm dropping everything. I love stretch. I love every single item that I purchased today. Uh, there's not one thing that I've gotten home and thought, oh my gosh, what was I thinking? I really, really haven't. Um, everything will have a purpose. I won't, you know, I don't buy these hauls and then, you know, just throw out the items. I always keep them or give them away or put them into charity boxes. So nothing ever goes to waste, ever. Um, including the 5P bag that I bought to carry some of this stuff. That will also not go to waste, I promise. Guys, thank you so much for joining me. I hope you have had as much fun as I've had doing this haul. And I will be completely open. If you really like this haul for me to do more of these kind of things, maybe you could suggest some shops that I go to to buy things. I'm definitely open for that. I have a lot of fun doing these and I hope you do too. If you like this video, please, please, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed and you'd like to do so, please hit that um, subscribe button. We would love to, to have you join us. Um, and if you want to never miss another video that I upload, please hit that notification bell. Guys, thank you so much. I hope you've had fun. I've had fun. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.